Hey guys. So we are back. Little Jackson here. No, he hasn't been on camera for a little bit. So I figured I'd bring him on. Sorry the light is not as good where he is at. But I hope you can still see his beautiful self. Um, so I'm going to change him into this cute little... Uh, what's it called? Cat and Jack outfit. Um, that we've had and it finally needs to be used. So he's going to wear it. It's newborn size. And it's this um, sweatshirt. It says dream big on it. On the back it says going places and has two buttons. And then the pants um, have these cute little clouds on there. Summer navy blue and summer outline in navy blue. And it has a cute navy blue pocket. And then there's the little drawstring. So the pants look really small, but I hope he can wear them. He sometimes can wear zero three month two. But somebody's got to be in my collection that can wear a newborn size. Because we had, we, I've had two newborn boys, and I don't have them anymore. Um, so, I have all these clothes that they would have been wearing. Because one of them wasn't supposed to go anywhere, but yeah. Of course, you know how that goes. Um, so anyways, he's going to be changing to that, hopefully, if it fits. And then I got a couple new pacifiers. We're going to see which one we want to put on him. They both will match. And then the socks, I really couldn't find a great match. But we do have these navy blue and lime green socks. And, yeah. I'm going to answer um, Weeby, da Weeby Dags. <laughs> Weeby Dolls. I kind of combine dolls and tags. Um, Weeby Dolls tag. Her seven question tag. While I change this little guy. And look he is so cute. He's wearing this Walmart Zero Three Month Sleeper. And it's Winnie the Pooh. And I'm sure y'all seen this. It has these beautiful um, light colors. I guess they're like pastel colors. Um, and the blues and the little yellows and greens it has the poo all over and his little honey cup and beads and then it says what's it say a hundred acre wood that's where he lives and there's little sleeves on there it's so cute and then the matching pacifier perfectly from walmart it's winnie the poo and this is um only at walmart these little pacifiers and this little outfit so i just love it on him he's so cute so he's he's had that on for a few days, but I didn't want to take it off of him because I just love it, the little pacifier. But he can wear it again. I think he's had it on for like a week, maybe. I think I changed him into it like Monday or something, Tuesday, last week. All the babies have been in their stuff since I made the video, so they all really need changing. Don't change them as much as they should be changed. As much clothes as they have. And he probably needs a diaper change, but guess what? I didn't grab one, and I am nowhere near it like I was for, um, uh, Julian's video. I don't know if I'm going to upload Julian's video or not. He looks so cute over there. But the video itself wasn't the best. So, I don't know. Want to look at the camera, bub? Hmm. Say hi. Say I'm sleeping. But hi anyways. <laughs> Alright, let's get to this tag before we finish changing him. And then I haven't answered anything. Okay, so the first question of our seven question tag, and once again, this is by Weeby Dolls. Um, and it was, <clears throat> who was your very first reborn? My very first reborn was, um, they named her Samantha. Um, I got her off eBay. Uh, she, what sculpt she was, the Sam by Marissa May. And I try to change her name um, to Jacasia, I think. Um, but she came to me as Samantha. But yeah, she was the same by Marissa May. And no, I do not still have her. That's the next question. 
Um, I did sell her like, uh, I think the end of 16 or the beginning of 17. Um, but she definitely was trial and error because on pictures she, you know, looked like phenomenal. And I thought she was a different color than what she was and everything else. And then I got her and she wasn't. And then I tried to, you know, send her back or whatever. And they was like, no, which, you know, most people do say that. So I kept her and I still loved her anyways. Um, she looked cute and anything I put her on. She had like blonde hair, curly hair, and then like orange eyebrows. So, yep, it was the Sam Bomber SMA. And it says, what does your significant other, or best friend, or closest family think about your doll hobby? Um, really not a lot of people know. Just some of my family members. Um, I have brought it up to like a friend one time, but she didn't seem too enthused about it. She was thinking, oh, you should just get a dog instead of having these dolls. Um... One of my other friends didn't really have an opinion, and then um, another one was like, yeah, let's get a doll, but she never did. She ended up having a real baby before we got the opportunity to get one together, and I really don't, I mean, my, my mom and stuff, she's fine with it. She actually um, likes to tell people every time I get a new one or once she sees a new one, and, you know, she holds them and stuff like that. Um, do you prefer to have your baby dressed in outfits with shoes etc or simple comfy sleepers I actually prefer to have them dressed um, with shoes even though they may not always have shoes but I like to put outfits on like these um, I don't too often put them in sleepers I do like sleepers when they do have them on. Um, I really like the two-piece sets from Walmart um, the best when they do wear comfy clothing. Uh, but a lot of times I like a, I like to see them dressed up in outfits. I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> These pants, I don't know, they're a little small. I'm supposed to be getting a another baby that will be more newborn size. But I don't know when I'll be getting that baby. I have to just wait until it's time for him to be born. So, he'll be able to wear a lot of this newborn stuff. Because my babies in my collection are chunky. They can't fit a lot of this stuff. <laughs> um. Okay, the next question. Do you prefer rooted hair or painted? Um, I used to always want root rooted hair. And I think I do prefer rooted hair a little bit more. But I do like painted hair on certain babies. I think certain babies look really good with painted hair. Um, but I like it to be thick. Uh, thickly painted mostly if it is painted. So I guess the answer would be rooted hair. Do you prefer open eyes or sleeping sculpts? Um... I definitely prefer sleeping babies more. I do have one, two, two awake babies right now. And I, then I have two on the way. And then that one little newborn boy I was talking about, he is awake. But I don't know when he'll be coming. So, I definitely am attracted more to sleeping babies. Although I like to have... Um, some, um, I'm more attracted to sleeping babies, but I like to have some awake babies at times. I have to, like, really be in love with the, the kit. Like, my Saskia, yeah. He is one open-eyed baby that I am in love with. And do you prefer to order customs or look for buy it now? I actually prefer for buy it now babies. Um, because I'm very impatient. I don't like to wait. <laughs> Especially if I have to wait more than four to six weeks. 
Um, even though I do do layaway at times, I don't really like doing that either because I, I really get anxious and impatient and I just want the baby home. So, um, while I'm waiting for a layaway baby, I usually end up getting another baby, which is not good because that money needs to go to the layaway baby. So, most of the time I just rather have a buy it now one that I could pay for right then and there because it's just so much simpler, so much easier. Um, and you don't have to worry about, ugh, I'm trying to get my toothbrush. You don't have to worry about, um, waiting or if the baby gets home and you don't really like it or something like that, which I've never had a problem with the custom. I have a custom going on right now. Um, but the whole thing is the waiting. And then you may not, like I said, you may not like the baby in the end and stuff like that. But So far, custom orders, except for a couple, have been fine. Um, but just like with Buy It Now Babies, there's babies I've gotten home and realized I didn't like it as much as I thought I did. So they can go both ways. You may not always like a buy it now baby when you get it home just like a custom. Um, but the only good thing about buy it now is you can get it home. You don't have to worry about waiting. So. Oh, there's him. He's so cute. Um, and then last question is what positive things has this hobby brought to your life? Um, well, mainly, it just, I don't know, these babies bring me a lot of joy. Every time I just open the door um, and look at them, I just smile. I feel like I can get through my day a lot easier with these babies. And then when I'm, like, anxious or down and out or something like that, I can just go and pick up one of the babies, and then I immediately just feel better. Um, it's also helped me, you know, to wait a little bit with real kids. Um, because they are a lot more, you know, of a hand, you know, not really a handful, but more handsy. You have to try to do more and um, try to find daycare while you work. And, you know, there's a lot more you got to put in to it than just this. And I'll just like the baby stage. So, um, knowing that these babies are not going to grow up is like 100% my favorite thing. Um, <clears throat> cause everybody knows, you know, that babies grow into kids and kids grow into teenagers and teenagers grow into adults. So you have to get through that too. But, um, the babies themselves, these reborns, you know, they stay little, um, they don't cry, they don't pee, they don't poop. Well, they pee if you want them to poo with the drinking wet system, but, um, they just, I don't know, they just make me happy. They just, they're just so cute and innocent looking and I mean they're just I don't know they just bring me so much joy so I don't think I ever stop collecting reborns I may you know my collection may dwindle down to like a couple babies or something like that but um I don't think I could you know just completely let them go because um, they do bring me so much joy and happiness so that is that so thank you weeby dolls for that tag um, I usually don't do a lot of tags, but I would like to, you know, do more um, so people can uh, hear my thoughts. And I like hearing y'all's thoughts with them. And um, So, yeah. So, that's that. So, we're going to try to get him on one of these pacifiers. I don't know which one we're going to put him on. I really like this color. So, we may do that blue one. Both of them match. So... And I did open his mouth, so he has an open mouth. Uh, let's see. Goes better with the powder. So there him is. He's so cute. And he's so cute. Okay, guys, so we're going to end this video. Hope you enjoyed seeing little Jackson as much as I enjoyed changing him. He, He's definitely one of my favorite babies. I usually just change him in posing because he's really cute. I love teeny cutie babies a whole lot. Um, 
She's one of my favorite sculptors. Uh, I wish I could get a Tina Cutie silicone, but you know, I'm not sure how easy they are to find. But I have him, and he is definitely filling a big chunk in my life. So there's Jackson. Hope you all enjoyed him. And we shall see y'all soon with the twins. I need to get them changed into something. Um, and I do want to change them on camera. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. Bye for now.